is Isha here from Isha's Crafty Side and today I'm gonna do a mixed media um, canvas collage with you all and it would be definitely a start to finish video so um, this is uh, for the very first time I'm gonna do a canvas so you know uh, I didn't want it to mess up the thing so what I did was like um, first of all um, I chose a canvas which is like over here which is a 12 by 12 of canvas so it's going to be um, a big project for me and uh, so and this uh, i'm going to make for uh, one of my orders this is a special request somebody had done to me you know so uh, they wanted to gift it to someone you know in in, in their family so uh, i'm going to make that f uh, this um, for them so you know i didn't want it to mess up uh with my different thoughts so what i did was just i have roughly um you know uh drawn certain ideas which came into my mind and uh, uh so uh i have drawn this on a piece of paper it's not a very neat and clean drawing but just a line diagram so that it you know i can uh, incorporate the things you know according to the vision what i have so i just wanted to make a painting uh into a very mixed media three-dimensional thing okay so uh, this is what i have imagined is like uh, i wanted to make a nice lovely home and uh, uh which would like i just wanted to make a happy home you know so uh what i have uh, here is like a window and into it uh, i have uh, a bird cage i've thought of and a lamp here and a home here so i thought that i'll make these and i'm gonna add a fence and a lamp post and some um you know flourishes over here so this this is basically what i have thought of you know so and i'm gonna use uh, many of star crafters products for making this mixed media canvas so i'm gonna place this over here so that i don't lose the track you know of what i have imagined and according to my imagination only i had uh, ordered from sacrafter store so i have all the things ready so from here itself i'm gonna start the fast play mode and i'm gonna make the whole uh, canvas with you all so stay tuned okay guys you know all the different elements which i want to incorporate on this canvas uh, and i'm just marking their positions with the pencil marks and uh, as i had decided you know uh, the things according to my uh, sketch diagram i'm just placing them around and uh, this what you're gonna see is uh, the chipboard flourish and chipboard fence the lamppost was wooden and also uh, the dome with the gallery was wooden these are uh, some of the bamboo um, coasters I had got and I'm just giving a house effect by placing those coasters, the parts of the coasters over here and again marking them. I'm using my brick stencil and the handmade texture base to give a wall effect, brick wall effect. wanted uh, to have a very beautiful integrate background on the top part where there was nothing you know so I'm using this beautiful Venice lace and uh, um, just adhering it to the canvas surface with Mod Podge mat I really like the backgrounds to be very dimensional and uh, the Venice laces, you know, uh, play a very, you know, beautiful role in uh, giving a beautiful integrated background. I'm just uh, gonna paint all my wooden and chipboard elements with gesso just to prepare them for the coloring, which I'm gonna do afterwards. 
I could adhere them and then paint them with gesso. You could do that too. But uh, somehow I just wanted to do it first. You know, so um, I'm just painting because uh, the elements are different, like bigger ones and smaller ones. So here I have uh, already made the balcony. You can see that applying the fence on the dome. And now I'm applying all the um, wooden and chipboard elements with E6000 to the canvas. E6000 is really nice, you know, it is a very sturdy glue. So it's uh, gonna um, keep all the wooden and chipboard elements very nicely, um, you know, stuck up. Now here I'm using different uh, leaves I had in my stash. These are all fabric leaves. These are all in different shades and shapes. And uh, it doesn't matter much because I'm gonna uh, anyways cover them up with gesso. So I just wanted to make a beautiful background of leaves. So, and I stick them up with the hot glue gun. Um, and now I'm just covering this up with gesso. I'm doing it step by step, you know, like I applied one layer of uh, the fence and then I painted it and then I and a layer of leaves and I also painted that with gesso. I'm applying all the flowers and now I'm painting the flowers with gesso because um, I didn't want any of the part, you know, uh, not to be covered because if you apply everything and then I would have uh, tried to paint them with gesso it would have been a bit difficult for me so I'm just applying small rosebuds to the bigger flowers I had and these were uh, I think some of them were prima flowers and some are the fabric flowers these are wild orchid craft rosebuds with um, the Things what you're gonna what you're seeing are ones which I had got from Joanne in the floral section. So I'm making a spray which I'm gonna apply at side with the various flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts, um, the chipboard element. I just you know cut the flourish to make it into two parts because it was too big. just trying to you know uh, work with the placements and now I'm just sticking them up with the various um, leaves these are the rose leaves or which I got from Wild Orchid Craft too so I'm just applying them and making a beautiful you know uh, spray flourish or a spray at the side applying the bird cage and a beautiful angel there um, I wanted to add the sentiment sweet life because to me this represents a very sweet life rather than a sweet home so I'm using the foam alphas I had in my stash now I'm gonna paint everything with gesso Applying two beautiful um, butterflies to just cover up. This is my homemade spray I made with the metallic blue I had in my stash, the acrylic paint. I just mixed it up with water into the Tim Holtz Mini Mister and I just sprayed it blue. This is a darker blue tone of metallic blue and uh, now this is a yellow one. I wanted to give a uh, you know a sunset effect so I applied a yellow spray and I want to make some flowers to be yellow so I just added that there now this is a green acrylic paint converted into the mist and I'm applying that to the leaf section no. and 
and after every single color I make sure that I dry it up this is a very beautiful uh, pearl pink color which was I think uh, Martha Stewart acrylic paint and I just love the effect it gave this is a violet tone Now I'm just highlighting some of the colors which I wanted to, uh, which I could not get it uh, with the spray. So I'm just applying those colors with the brush. And here comes the finished result. I've also applied uh, Gold Rub and Buff to many areas which you all can see in the picture. I just wanted to highlight the dome design and the bird cage color so and the butterflies so just added some gold rub and buff hope you all enjoy the pictures and have fun thank you so much for watching and please do subscribe if you like my work thank you so much for all your support and happy crafting. See you all guys later. Bye for now.